Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody. Now as you can see, this is the game against Pony Montana. If you guys don't know, Pony's game attack is Young Laser Beam. He was on stream while playing this and I was recording a video. Yeah, this is how things go sometimes. This weekend, I'm gonna be honest, this weekend league has been really tough for me. I played, I wanna say I lost 9 games, I went 16-9. <laughs> Six nine. I played against nine, eight top one hundred opponents. That's tough. If you win, if you lose eight times against people that are in the top one hundred, it's bad. You, I sh I should win at least one of those. I feel like. But anyways, I've had really tough weekend. The players that I've played have been pretty decent for the most part. If you guys want to see me face these top players live, then go check out my Twitch link is in the description. But enough plugging. If you guys know, Young Laser Beam, he's a god. Not a god. He's a pretty good player. He's a pro player. He played in a couple of pro event events this year. And I saw his Barry Sanders was activated. He's going to run the ball. He was in this eight slot offset. Really good offense to run the ball off. And still have the ability to pass. He can motion. He can audible down into single back. It's close. That's also a really good running formation. Got some cute little bit beaters as well. So right off the bat, I'm like sure that this is going to be a tough offense to stop. I traditionally always struggle with uh, a slot offset. Right there, he actually had the one play touchdown. Thankfully, the pressure got in. Or thankfully, he got sacked right as he was throwing it. It was open though, so I'm noting that down. Third and seven. I feel like that's still a down that he might run the ball in, and that's exactly what he does. I felt like that from the beginning because he has Barry Sanders activated. He's going to try to use him as much as possible. Right there, he did. Beautiful job by him knowing that third and seven. He would he will at least make it manageable. If I hold him to three to four yards, which is really tough. He's in the third and three. At that point, just he can go to everything in his entire playbook. Right there he runs the bubble. It's every, it's a uh, RPO. Throws the bubble. I just get a shed. Lucky lucky for me. Get the tackle. Perfect. <clears throat> now second and eleven. This is still a down where I'm focused on trying to shoot the run if he doesn't run the ball then that's good for me because then i can i'm in a pass defense right now then i can work a little bit he's running the play action he's got a deep corner out there he turned this post into a corner cover two beater that's beautiful mm. if i have the safety in it outside in an outside third there maybe i can make a play on it but since he was in a deep half yeah that's not the move against this so Right here, I'm struggling. This is a really weird shell. I hope I'm just trying to do a couple of things to throw him off. He has, he would have had the streak down the middle as well, in my opinion. He throws the corner out, perfect. That was a four play. Uh, where did he start at? At this 25. It was a four play drive, nevertheless. And yeah, I knew right then and there that this was going to be a tough game. I did not feel like I could stop him at all. Just his offense was so powerful, and he hasn't even got to the run yet extensively. With Barry Sanders, he has a great stick. As you saw, the first run was amazing. He showed off some really good wiggle. Pause, maybe. So I knew that this was going to be a tough game. Okoye here feeling the kick. Trying to get at least to the 25. Don't get there quite 24. But yeah, these people, they're really good. I'm coming out in Gun Bunch. I, I was recording a video to show off my near close flex. Yeah, we're not doing that just because against Pawnee, I'm not trying to get exposed in front of the stream running something that I don't know. I mean, I still felt like there's a really good chance that I'm going that I was gonna get exposed. Just I'm not trying to make it easy on him. Eight yards right there, he would have sent everybody. I mean, he would have come in and right there, as you can see, he runs two for five out. That's annoying because this. Defense it absolutely destroys halfback sweep, which is a big part of my offense against uh, Heavy blitzers and against good players. I like to run the ball a lot out of this halfback sweep just because I'm ass at the game And if I have to pass every down then I'm gonna struggle against these dudes And I will have to do that right there corner out beautiful It's into his half uh, into his side of the field. So yeah, I mean it's it's all right. It's it's progress and I was really surprised that he, couldn't, he didn't stop that play. Anyways, if I can't run the ball on him, that's going to be trouble. Because I have to pass 
or rely, excuse me, they have to rely fully on the pass, then that's where things are going to get difficult. Right there, throw the ball away. Smart by me, didn't have anything open. I went to the same play back to back times. Second time, he's gonna basically, he's basically gonna lock that down. And I know that, and now I'm gonna make, don't, I'm not gonna make that same mistake again. Hopefully. Hopefully. Second and ten, he, he gets in there, I get lucky, can get around him. And right there, smart by him. Smart by him. He knew that I was gonna spin, he just didn't want to uh, get, let me get past him. Good job by him. Right here, I paused the game. He actually went, got into game chat. So, that was a fly. I just, I just got the fly. Ah, can't actually see it. It's, no, anyway. He was actually mad when the game chat. And I said, I'm dude, it's all love. I mean, I was just trying to show him that I got cheated there because I spun straight into a hit stick from, I don't know who that was. Either number 90, that was either Judevian Clowney, or that was Julius Peppers. Anyways, he has enforcer. If I spin into an enforcer, I'm gonna let you know that I got lucky. Right there, beautiful pass. Beautiful. He bumps the route. I know that I'm gonna have some time to fit that like, uh, in route in. It's just a matter of whether Mick, Vic can make the throw in time. And if he's cross body, whether he can get as much power into it as he needs to. Okay. So now we're in a spot where we can work a little bit. First and goal. I'm going to this uh, match post setup. It's going to be a struggle to score. I can already tell that. He doesn't send everybody. And as I throw this wheel rod, it should have been a pick. Got lucky again. Okay. Now I'm settling back down. Okay. Got points here. It's tough to score in this part of the field. So what I'm thinking to myself is just run the ball. Try to get something going. Once again, he is in the uh, nickel 2 for 5. Odd. He shoots in. If I had gotten to the outside there a little bit more, maybe I had I would have had a chance at it. But it's fine. I didn't throw a pick this time. And I was close to throwing a pick the previous play. Just gonna let the clock lock run out, and we're going into the second quarter. In this spot right here, I need to take points, just because I know the points are gonna be hard to come by, and I just can't ri I can't risk throwing a close pass. Basically, is what I'm saying to you guys. I'm running a little stick setup. I should have known that this corner route was not gonna get open. I should have put a. Uh, I should have put another route out there. That was just a very bad route by me. I released the tight end. Clowny gets comes gets to me. Okay, fine. I'm gonna take my field goal. I think I managed that really poorly. Even though I didn't throw a pick, I was close to throwing a pick again. Got lucky there. Even though I didn't throw a pick in the end, I think that I should have. Put in a better route combo out there in the field. I mean, a corn route and a post route and a drag. That's a really poor route combo in that spot. Really bad by me. Very mad at myself about that. I think I could have gotten something better. I could have, I could have run mesh post, for example. And more mesh post would have been the move for sure. Kicking the ball off to him now. He's up four points. I got points on my first drive, which makes me really happy. And I'm thinking to myself that I've just got to eliminate the big play now, right there. Got a little sticky. Not too much, but still a little bit sticky. Anyways, I'm going back to my big thing, Global G. I would like to run uh, three for odd, but I just know that with these receivers, I'm going to be outmatched. And it's just not a it's not a good matchup for me. Right there, he throws the tail out. Gets four to five yards. I mean, if, you, if he's willing to take that, I'm willing to give it to him. Uh, he needs to show me that he's going to take that every time or if he's going to look downfield a bit more. Second and eight, uh, flipping so that he's not running to weak side of me. Still running this cover, uh, cover three, cover two ish. This mix, cover three invert maybe. Nah, it's not really cover three invert. Anyways, he's motioning Tyreek Hill across, and I remember him being on that corner out. I'm just trying to muddy up the read a bit. You see that there is nothing open, pretty much. He's throwing the ball away very smartly. I manned up the thing that would have been open. And he really had nothing other than that. That was his hope that I was stupid enough to give it that, to give it to him back to back drives. Thankfully, I wasn't. And yeah, this time I did a pretty good job locking it down. Now third and eight. I'm getting not as risky right here. Oh, am I? Let's see. Because I remember one of these downs. Yeah, okay. I, right here, I'm coming. I'm running cover four palms. I think cover four palms. 
he has the the only thing that's open is the in route and he takes it very good by him that's bad by me i should have used that anyways i th i'm really happy about that call i think that was a very good call cover for quarters my bad yeah cover for quarters it was a smart call run cover two pretty much all game switching it up to cover four quarters he makes the read i usually did poorly i should have looked out for man beating routes uh, like the in route corner route it was a steep corner route so it didn't really beat man quite as much as he would have probably liked it to right there i'm running past my homes with my tail maze i would have liked to hit there if i used it better i, I might have had a chance at it second and five but thankfully i'm not giving up the big plays as much now second and five I'm going to man up this hill. I feel like he wants to go back to this cover two beater, and I'm not gonna give that to him. <laughs> Excuse me. Once again, motioning Tyreek Hill across, running this. Uh, my gosh, running this uh, cover three inverts. He's got his tight end on the Texas route. He's open in the middle of the field. He throws the post route. I would have liked the pick there. Gonna be honest, it was open, but. I think I had some pretty good coverage out there. He had to, he had to wait a bit longer because the soft squad was there. I feel like that was good defense. I would have liked uh, to get rewarded for it. But what are you going to do? Third and five, he drives him on the ball. And bam! We just blown up. Reacted a bit, to, a bit late to that. I just felt like that he might run the ball to make it an easier fourth down. Because I know that he's going to go for it. He trusts his offense. I'm not somebody that's known in the community. My game attack. He's not scared of my game attack. I'm sure about that. He has the corner route and he also has the in route. Yeah, Tom, Tom Hanks was about to say. Uh, Merton, Morton Hanks, somewhere around there. His name. He has 69 hit power. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna force the ball out against anybody. Jones, good hit there. He's not gonna force the ball out on anybody. I need to invest in a better safety because that's just horrible. Anyways, doesn't force the ball out. Gets the first down. Hits the table out. Very disciplined by him. Second and six now. Got the hitch. Throws it beautifully. He falls down before the first down. That's good. Not because I don't think that he can pick it up. But it just makes him think a little bit more. Runs the corner out. Nothing is open. He was about to scramble right there. I, I would have liked to not have clicked off there. First and goal now at the nine yard line. And now I have to hold him because this is a tough part of the field to score in. I got that sentence out. Perfect. I cannot allow him to get a touchdown. He's got a field goal pretty much guaranteed. He's not going to throw me a pick. I know that much. I just expect him to run the ball. Hence, run heavy formation. Good running backs. Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson. He's going to run the ball. It's just a matter of whether I can stop him. Second and goal. I'm calling a timeout here because I realized that I had to call a timeout. I wanted to get another shot at three points. That's all I want. Second and goal. Once again, I think that it's going to be a run all the way again. I'm right. We got in there. Clowning with the hit. Beautiful got in force on him. He's going to hit stick him. He's not going to miss that tackle. Now he's at the 10-yard line. 10-yard line, third and goal. That's tough to score. Once again, if I score here, then that's embarrassing. Then that's really, really bad by me. This was actually a live combat. I just did not commentate at all because I was sweating really, really badly. Get a sack right there. Beautiful. 33 seconds. That's not a lot of clock. That's not a lot of time left for me. I I want to get three really badly. But if I give him another possession and another three points, then the game is over at that point. I can't. So I cannot do that under no circumstance. I have to get three here. I have to. And I can't throw a pick. It's not a game changer if I don't get through here. But it is a game changer if I throw a pick. So I'm get going into this very conservatively. I feel like I'm going to pass the ball. Just because I've gotten him a couple of times with corner routes and in routes by now. And just in general. I feel confident in me passing the ball on him. Because I can't run the ball on him. He's going to he's gonna blow that inside zone up. Or outside zone, it really is. I have picks with an outside zone. I don't have a chance. I don't have a choice other than passing the ball. Now, right here is switching up defenses. That is big down one for six. Now I feel really comfortable because that's something that I've seen way more than uh, Nickel Super 5 odd. I'm picking up the blitz. I'm IDing everything. 
I'm just trying to get outside of the pocket here. And what do you know? He does not send the blitz. I throw the in route beautifully. I'm at the 50 yard line. Now I'm in a spot where I can actually attack field goal range. 15 seconds left. There's no runoff in Mutz. So if I get the ball in, into field goal range and I'm still in bounds, then I have then I can spike the ball only lose two seconds. So I'm in a very good spot right here. I don't like that route combo at all that I'm putting out there on the field. Just gonna say it. This looks horrible. Second and ten. I pretty much need to get in field goal range right now. And that is really bad by me. I would say route com better route combo to start with. I got four more seconds. Yeah, I'm not getting a field goal right here. I know that much. I'm going for it. Try to throw a Hail Mary. I know that he's gonna blitz me, so all that I can do is just quick throw one of those one of these seams. The blitz ca comes in. I guess thankfully the four seconds run off the clock. I mean he would have been at the 47 uh, with only one second left. He can't kick a field goal. He would have had to run the ball once and try to get sticky a little bit. But I didn't want to risk it anyways. I thought that I might have a chance at like an egg. As soon as I saw him sending the grip, I just snapped through it. Hope the time would run out. Thankfully it did. Otherwise it would have been bad. Now I got the ball in the second half. Now I got a chance to actually do something. I'm really scared getting hit. But not from McCoy. I know that he's not going to force a fumble. Let's be real. Even though he's really strong. He's in a, the Nigerian nightmare and all that. He's not going to force a fumble on me. I'm not scared. I, I'll run into him all day. No. First and 10. I had my 22 yard line. Mm. I still feel like I can run the ball on him. Because now he's in this big time. Uh, one for six. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to pop a run right here. Spin to the outside. Only get three yards. Mm, that's a bummer a little bit. I felt like I got a little bit of space there. Should have done a better job. Anyway, second and seven. At least I got some positive yardage. He's once again out there in this big time one for six. I don't know why because it's obvious that I've struggled with his two for five odd. Like it's obvious. Right? I haven't moved the ball on besides those corner outs and I you know that he's gonna take those away. You you just know it. Right there, that's really boop. I don't know what I did there. I don't know what I saw or what I thought that I saw. It's I even said it in the live commentary. You could it it was reported in the papers two days ahead that he's gonna go back there and that he's gonna pick that. Yeah, that's poor. That's really bad. I'm very mad at myself for laying that up. I'm right in I'm out here in this three four out. Because I know that he's going to run the ball right here. It's just way too easy to get these yards on a big nickel. It's way too easy. I need to get into 3-4 uh, odd and shut the run down. I'm going to baseline. I'm going to pinch any, everybody. Do that. Do, do all that. I'm, base, I'm, not re, I'm, not, I'm not quite run committing. But I'm really over committing to the run now. He's at the 2-yard line. I know that he's going to take a field goal. I just need to hold him. Why is he going to take a field goal? Not because he doesn't trust his offense, just because he trusts his defense that I'm not going to get a touchdown on him. I've been down there, I've had a chance, and I didn't convert. He knows that. So if he does not get this here, I'm playing pass defense, sort of. If he doesn't get this here, I know that I'm going to get... He appreciate him, thank you. I know that if he doesn't get this here, he's going to take his field goal. Especially getting sacked. That's a decision made for him. Now he can't go for it. Goes, he takes the field goal. I made a stupid mistake, but I'm still in the game. Now I gotta just move the ball. He's gonna take this all the way down. Now I gotta move the ball. Now a seven is pretty much a must. If I'm scoring another three, I take the time with me. Then he can clock me out, get another three, and then the game is over. I need seven right here. So I need. To, so I know that I need to be aggressive in this next drive. Basically, I I can't play. I can't keep pussyfooting around. Gotta get something going. Luckily, I'm getting the ball and I'm in gun bunch, so anything is possible. Maybe I can get lucky with the kick return, but I just... I don't like uh, pitching it to the wide receiver that's going back there. I've seen a couple of crazy things, but I have to try it. I don't have the timing down at all, so that's why it sometimes won't work for me. I'm going down there. And, yeah, once again, gun bunch. Gonna try my best to move 
the ball on him once again at the left hash and I've just I've just really fallen in love with this uh, deep corner I'm gonna put him on a drag just to give the user another thing to maybe look at throw the drag even though I might have been able to throw the corner out throw the drag just to get a completion going after a dumb pick like this you always want to get something to get you back in the groove anyways that didn't quite do it now I'm going to this corner strike play to hope that I can hit him up the seam gonna double team that guy to make sure that I can roll out of the pocket he's not sending that guy so I can't roll out that well still manage it didn't feel quite quite as comfortable because he went back there and used it just threw the in route for six yards good play good read by me good stuff uh, good stuff playing disciplined football still third and four that's not a down that I want to be in I noticed that he's probably not going to use the post route so this just means that I can quick can quick throw it psych no I can't gotta roll out I want to throw the playmaker hitch what do you do gets in there and now I'm in a really bad spot fourth and ten that's pretty much a guarantee that I'm not gonna convert fourth and ten at my 28 if I don't get this here the game is over so I got a lot of pressure on me right now I'm going back to the old faithful deep corner setup his two outside corner eggs probably are not on contains. They're in coverage for whatever reason. See that, he, see that he's leaving the corner out. Throw the corner out. Live to fight another day. <sighs> Gotta say, at this point, I'm really stressed out. Because I need to basically score. Uh, with more than three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Just because he's got it. He's got a run. He's got an offense that can run, that he can run the ball out of. Which means that he's going to take a lot of time with me. So right here I'm going to risk a couple of things. It's because I have to score quickly. I can't take forever to score. Basically. It was a long way of saying that I need to score. As early as possible. That was a dumb way of saying that. Jesus Christ I'm really sorry. I throw the in routes. I go for the rag catch which is done by me. I should have gone for the possession catch. I would have been at the 20 yard line just about. No, I would have been about at about 25. Anyways, if I possession catch there, then then I'm then I'm in a way better spot now. Third and ten, that's a tough spot to be in. Running deep corner once again. He has locked it a couple of times. I just want to try him. I thought that he was gonna go back to the in route. It was it perfectly, and yeah, that was my game against Pawnee Montana pretty much I mean the game is over I'm just quitting it wasn't all that a couple of guys said in the comments we won a game against Pawnee yeah it was not all that spectacular this weekend league this weekend league has been tough for me really I've I've not had fun playing man this weekend league neither yeah Pawnee is good I mean I made it I made big mistakes but he forced me to make these mistakes. Anyways, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Go sub to Pony Montana. I mean, if you know me, you probably know him. Go sub to him. See you in the next video. Peace out.